In this smartphone world, most of us now have a camera right in our pocket or our purse. But an artist in Lackawanna County is keeping alive one of the first ways of taking a picture. John Meyer took the Pennsylvania road to one of her photo shoots. Oh, the sun's out way more. We're dropping it down to three seconds again. <laughs> Just look at the effort it takes Rebecca Daniels to get one photo of Debbie and Jim Wodok. Perfect. A little different than just pulling the phone out of your pocket and pressing a button. All right, we're going to go in three, two, one. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. All right, let's see what happens. This is called tintype photography. This is what it took to get a photo of someone in the mid 1800s. As Rebecca Daniels ducks into her mobile darkroom at Aylesworth Park, she follows the many steps needed to keep that style of photography alive. You, you couldn't have an image of a family member unless you had a painting of them. While you may have thousands of pics of your kids and grandkids, back then there may have been only one in a lifetime. And that's sort of why I love it because yeah, like digital photography, great, wonderful, there's definitely a place for it, but there's also a place for this, you know, as sort of mementos and, and um, documenting a specific moment in time. Rebecca sees this as a form of artwork and started a project trying to get photos of as many people as possible throughout Lackawanna County to preserve those specific moments in this COVID era. For the subjects, it's like being transported into another century. It was really interesting. I, I had no idea what the process was and it was just really interesting to see the, uh, you know, the entire process take place. The phone cameras now and everything, it's just, you know, yeah. mind boggling how they did it back then and what we've come to now. When Rebecca offered to include me in her project, I was thrilled. All right, we're going to go in three, two, one. You have to hold very still when it takes a few seconds to capture a clear image. But even a century and a half ago, a photo could be developed in a matter of minutes. You're a great subject, John. It's certainly not the selfies we see so much today. Like this is what your great great grandpa looked like in a tent. Rebecca's work is making what we are living through feel like it's already part of history. Our busy, colorful lives captured in black and white. John Meyer, Newswatch 16 on the Pennsylvania Road in Lackawanna County.